Hi everyone, I hope that you're all doing great. I'm back today with the second part of my 2015 favorites and today it's gonna be all about makeup. I have quite a few products over here so we're gonna get started but um, just a quick reminder, I'm not doing like my favorite mascara, foundation base, I'm just gonna talk about products that I really enjoyed in 2015. The first product I rediscovered is the Professional Base from Benefit. This is actually a product that I used to use way back in 2010 because although I have dry skin, I have very large pores. This is something that I will use if I have a special event, if I'm going to a wedding or a party. This is something that I love to use because it really blurs your skin and it hides your pores. That being said, on a daily basis, I use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is super, super expensive. I still can't believe that I purchased it, but this is just the best primer I've ever used. It really creates a blank canvas to apply your foundation and your concealer on top of it. It makes everything last a little bit longer and it keeps my skin nice and hydrated through the day as well. Um, when it comes to foundation and bases, I've been in love with this new range from Bobbi Brown. This is the Intensive Skin Serum. I did my foundation routine using these products and I've just been in love with it. The idea behind this range is that it's a hybrid between a cosmetic product like a skincare product and a makeup product. And the result is that the foundation is just the best one I've ever used. I have the shade beige which is a perfect match for me and I can apply it in the morning, it smells heavenly, it really blends onto my skin, it looks natural and by the end of the day it's still there and when I remove my makeup my skin is nice, hydrated and plump. It's not irritated, it's not red or sore and it has just changed the game for me. I also got the concealer and the corrector just because I love the foundation so much that I decided to get them. I've been using the Bobbi Brown character, the classic one, for years. My mom as well, we both love it. I got the character, I got my mom the character as well in the liquid form. We love it just as much. And the concealer is great to use all over your face. I use it underneath my eyes, around my nose. It's just a wonderful range that I absolutely love. That being said, there are two other base products that I've been really enjoying in 2015. The Dior Skin Nude BB Cream in the shade 2 is my go-to in the spring and summer. It's a great BB cream. It adds coverage while you're still looking like skin. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. And another one that I actually rediscovered recently and I finished it two days ago is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And this is just wonderful. This is something that I don't use on an everyday basis. This is more something that I will use when I'm going out for dinner or I'm going dancing, something like that, because it doesn't have any SPF. The color match is perfect for me and the finish is just beautiful and luminous. Every time I wear it, people like girls ask me what I have on my face because they really love it. And this is a great foundation. I'm going to repurchase it really soon because I feel like I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. Um, another face product that I've been loving, this is the Bobbi Brown Face Touch-Up Palette. I got it in the shade Sand, and the idea is that you get a corrector, concealer, foundation, and powder in this very tiny compact. This is always in my handbag, in my suitcase, whenever I'm traveling. This is great to do little touch-up when you're at the office or you're heading out to dinner with your friends or you're going I don't know, to your nightclub or something like that. This is the best thing to do touch-ups on the go. Still talking about face, this little thing has been my go-to every single day. This is a nice contouring kit in the shade Olympia and this comes with a very natural contouring shade which is perfect for every day. When I'm filming videos or I'm going out at night, I'm using the Kevin O'Grand Sculpting Powder, that's what I have on today. But this is very out there and you can definitely see it in real life. Although this one I can apply every single day, it looks natural, it blends beautifully on the skin, but the real star of this is this highlight. This like matte highlight is just the best thing to enhance your features very naturally because it's matte. Something that I use every single day and I absolutely love it. Um, moving on to a highlighter, I cannot not mention the Becca. Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. You know the one, it's everything that they say it is, even more. It's very glittery, so it's not super natural, but it's what I have on today. If you're going to 
a special party, if you want to have a very beautiful luminous makeup, this is just absolutely wonderful to use. I, I love it. I basically love it. And for blusher, this year it has been all about this Tartelet blush from Tarte in the shade Celebrated. First of all, the packaging is just so, so cute. But the product itself is beautiful. It's a peachy coral shade that looks very natural, but definitely gives you that beautiful, healthy blush. And I've been loving it, basically. I apply it nearly every single day. And if I put it back in my collection within two days, I go back and I take it back into my everyday makeup drawer just because I miss it that much. And I think this is a fantastic product. Moving on to eyeshadows, I actually realized that two of my everyday staples are from Urban Decay. The first one is the eyeshadow primer portion in the original formula. I love these. I still use the NARS Pro Prime uh, smudge proof eyeshadow base, but this one is perfect because it has a little bit of a beigey tint, so it really provides a beautiful canvas to apply eyeshadow on top of it. It uh, prevents creasing, it helps your eyeshadow to last. And believe it or not, although I love my Bobbi Brown palettes, I love my NARS palettes, and I love all these kind of things, I always go back to the Naked Basics palette. The first one, the very small basic one, it has five matte eyeshadows and a shimmery one. No matter what other palette I use, within three days, I'll go back to using this. This is what I have in my eyes today. This is the one that I reach for on a daily basis when I want to look like I have no makeup on, but I still want to add definition to my eyes. And this is something, it's a great companion palette as well uh, because it has matte eyeshadows, which is something that I really like. Since we were talking about eyes and eyeshadow, I finally found the perfect, perfect eyeliner this year. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper is just the one. Ever since I got this, I got rid of everything else. I don't use anything anymore. I don't use gel liners. I only use this little one. This is what I've been wearing uh, today. It's what every time you see me with eyeliner, it's this one. This is just the best felt tip eyeliner. I can only find it in the States, which makes me very anxious because as soon as this will run out, I'll be in full panic mode. So next time I am in Sephora in the States, I'm gonna pick up two or three of these because this is just the best, the most precise one. I, I'm just in love with it. Moving on to lips, I have quite a few products. The first one being the Jersey Marin Coconut Watercolor Lip Stain and Shine. So the principle is that you have a lip stain on one side and then a lip gloss on the other. You can use them both together, you can use them separate. The lip stain is here to stay. You can apply it at 7 in the morning, at 8 at night, it will still be there no matter what. The color that I have is Coral Oasis. This is a beautiful coral shade, very, very beautiful. Um, the lip gloss itself is nice on its own, it looks nice layered on top of the stain, it doesn't feel too sticky. It doesn't have the best lasting power, but it's definitely a beautiful product and Josie Maran is one of my favorite brands. And then special mention to the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. I've been wearing this a ton this year. It's a beautiful, deep, dark red shade. When I wear it, not everyone likes it, but I like it, so it's everything that matters. It's very matte, but it doesn't feel too drying on the lips and it definitely stay in place. The only downside to this is that you need to sharpen it in one of those big jumbo sharpener things. And last but not least for lips, I think that my favorite brand this year has been Dior. I've been loving the Dior Fruit Sticks. I got this one last year and Nice got this one this year. Uh, this is the shade 373. 499, these are beautiful, beautiful products. They apply very easily. They are pigmented, they are moisturizing, they stay in place. And the other release that I've been loving, they actually reformulated the Dior Addict Lip Sticks. First of all, the packaging is magnetic, which is something that I love. I got three different shades, but the one that I prefer is this one. This is 976B Dior. This is the one I have on my lips. I've been wearing it in a ton of videos. I always have one of these hanging in my handbag and they feel moisturizing because they have like a sheer butter center with like the Christian Lohr monogram, it's very, very beautiful. And they're easy to apply on the go as well. Most of the time, I don't apply it with a mirror. Finally, I've been loving two perfumes this year. 
First one is the Eccentric Molecule Molecule of One Perfume. I won't rave about it, but I love it. It's so good. Give it a smell because it's amazing. And I actually purchased my first Jo Malone Cologne. This is a wood sage and sea salt. It's a classic. It's a beautiful, fresh and woody scent. It reminds me of the British coast along the sea. It's just beautiful, very light, very unique as well. And it's something that I've been loving with the eccentric molecule perfume as well. So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you need any info, any links or review of these products, it will be in the description box down below. You can find a ton of information down there. And I will see you next time with a fashion favorites for 2015, which I'm very excited about. In the meantime, be well, be healthy, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.